able to show you how to operate the lift manually. For some reason, the lift might lose power. It could be a blown fuse or whatever goes on at the time, and you may need to let the lift down um, and still be able to operate until you get back to the shop. Well, here's a hydraulic pump that sits to the side of the lift. It has a key slot here at, in the bottom part of it. You're going to take this pole with its notches in there, and you want to line it up right there. If you turn it to the right, that closes the pump. If you turn it to the left, counterclockwise, you can let the lift out slowly. And you can control the speed of it based on how you turn the key. So right now the lift is going down. And I'm going to speed it up just for sake of the video. Okay, it's going to come to the docking point. If you want to let it all the way down to the ground, it'll go all the way down to the ground. I'm going to speed it up just to for this video. But you want to let it down at a slow pace if you have someone on it. Okay, you see the lift is completely down. Now you want to close the valve back up by turning it to the right all the way. Stick the pole into the pump and you will just start pumping it just like you're lifting up a jack. And as you see, the lift will start to come back up. And it's a tedious process now, but it's not too bad. But if you're stuck in the street and you don't have um, any power to the lift, this is how you're going to get your lift to operate. There you have it, folks. That's how you do it. Takes a lot of work, but you won't be stuck.